Today we're making min sao ga, Vietnamese stir-fried glass noodles with chicken. This is a super easy stir-fried noodle recipe for when you want something quick but healthy and delicious. It consists of mian, Vietnamese glass noodles sautéed with chicken, carrot, mushrooms, and green onion. If you're feeling soupy, check out the super comforting noodle soup version of this dish here. When I want to put in the effort once and get multiple meals out of it, I'll buy a whole chicken and follow the noodle soup recipe so that I can have the broth version first and this sautéed version the day after. This dish comes together in about half an hour, even less if you have some leftover chicken or if you buy a rotisserie chicken. Despite its simplicity, it's delicious with a lot of different textures and flavors. The noodles are bouncy, the chicken is tender, the carrot brings a sweetness, the shiitake mushroom and green onion are fragrant, and the wood ear mushroom is crunchy. This dish will please even a picky eater in your family. For this recipe, you'll need chicken breast. Normally, I'm not a huge fan of chicken breast, but it worked for this recipe because it's the easiest cut to shred. Shiitake mushroom, wood ear mushroom, carrot, shallot, a piece of ginger, optional, green onion, cilantro for garnish, bouillon, salt, fish sauce, soy sauce, preferably dark soy sauce, ground black pepper, and of course, mian noodles. In Vietnam, there are two types of mian noodles, one called mian zam, made from arrowroot, and one called mian dok sang, made from mung bean. I actually prefer the first type for noodle soup and sauteed dishes because it's thicker, whereas I like using the second type for nem zan, i.e. Vietnamese fried rolls. However, the first type is virtually impossible to find outside of Vietnam. You most likely will only find this second type. If you can't find these for some reason, I actually really enjoy using Korean chapche sweet potato noodles for both the broth and sauteed versions of this dish. Whereas mian noodles just need to be soaked before sauteing, these need to be boiled. Let's get started. Start by adding the noodles to a large bowl and cover with room temperature water. Set aside to soak. Add the shiitake and wood ear mushrooms to a heat proof bowl and pour in boiling water. Cover and set aside to rehydrate. If using ginger, rinse and cut into slices without peeling. Cut to remove the root end and peel half the amount of shallot. To a pot, add the chicken breast, the peeled shallot, sliced ginger, along with the salt. Pour in enough water to cover the chicken completely. Heat on medium-high until the water begins to boil. Skim off any impurities, reduce heat to medium-low, cover and let simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes or until the chicken has cooked through. In the meantime, peel carrot, cut into 5 to 7 centimeter lengths, then shred or julienne. Rinse green onion, cut to remove root end, then cut into 3 to 4 centimeter lengths. Next, peel the remaining amount of shallot, remove the root end, then thinly slice. This is what our mushrooms look like rehydrated. Drain the water and rinse the mushrooms well to remove any debris. For shiitake mushrooms, cut into 3 to 5 millimeter slices. For wood ear mushrooms, cut to remove any tough stem bits as needed.
If the mushrooms are large, cut into 5 to 7 cm wide pieces. Stack up a few pieces, then cut into thin strips about 2 to 4 mm wide. If using, pick cilantro leaves from the stems, then roughly chop. This is what our mian noodles look like after soaking. Drain and set aside. Once the chicken is cooked, remove from the pot to a plate and set aside to cool. Remove the pot of cooking liquid from the heat, but do not discard. We will use some of this for the stir fry. Once the chicken is cool enough to handle, shred into thin strips. Now to stir fry. Heat a pan on medium and add vegetable oil. Add the sliced shallot and saute until fragrant. Add the shiitake and wood ear mushrooms and saute for one minute. Add the carrot and saute for another minute. Add in the shredded chicken, along with bouillon, and fish sauce. Saute for another minute. Add a bit of the chicken cooking liquid as needed to prevent things from getting dry. If you're using pre-cooked or leftover chicken, use water or store-bought chicken broth in place of the chicken cooking liquid. Add in the noodles, green onion, and some chicken cooking liquid. Saute for about a minute. Add the soy sauce and continue cooking, adding more liquid as needed and stirring continuously until the noodles have softened and are fully cooked. This should take another one to two minutes. Taste and add more fish sauce if needed, along with ground black pepper. Mix well and remove from heat. Add to a plate and serve immediately, garnishing with chopped cilantro. Let's taste. Gotta get a little bit of everything. A little bit of chicken, a little bit of carrot, mushroom, green onion. This is such a low effort and high reward dish and the flavors are delicious. Mm. 
Make sure you subscribe to our channel and visit mmbonappetit.com for more Vietnamese and French recipes.